everyone welcome back to the kitchen today we have everyone's game day favorite wings only this time we're taking a little bit of a different approach we're going to use my nashville hot chicken seasoning and we're going to oven roast these wings it's a little healthier if you're on a low carb diet or on keto you're going to really love being able to eat these and i can't wait to show you how they all come together Okay, today we're gonna get ready to make some fun game day snacks. Everybody loves wings, and we have done wings six ways to Sunday in the nearly 12 years that I have been on YouTube. We have oven fried wings, we have fried wings, we have done wings in many different ways. We have done tons of different sauces and flavors, and today we're going to go down yet another path and we're going to make some oven roasted Nashville hot chicken wings and this is inspired by Nashville hot chicken and we are going to oven roast these wings using my Nashville hot chicken shake seasoning that I made in a previous video if you missed that I will leave it in an i card here on the screen click the little i in the upper right hand corner or you can go down below in the description and I will leave a link to the video this is going to be super simple we're not going to put a sauce on it. You can put your own sauce on it. We're going to take our hot chicken seasoning and we're just going to douse these chicken wings. This is approximately four and a half pounds of chicken wings that I purchase whole and then I butcher myself and I cut the the tips off and then I cut the drumette away from the wing portion. So if you have never done that before, I will also leave a link in, the, in an iCard as well as down below to a video that I did many years ago uh, showing how you can cut up chicken wings and it's really simple. All you need is a good sharp knife and a little fortitude. It's really very easy. To this nearly five pounds of chicken wings, I am going to put one half cup of my Nashville hot chicken shake. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna toss it. I have gloves on my hands and we're just gonna get these good and coated. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and we're going to roast these for 30 to 45 minutes or until they're properly cooked all the way through and the meat is slightly pulling away from the bone. That, it, when you take your temperature with, with your instant read meat thermometer, that's going to read approximately 160 to 165. If you're around 160, you can pull them out of the oven and let them sit with some foil over top of them for about 10 to 20 minutes and then they'll carry over cook and everything will be fine. If you wanna do this ahead of time, you can also do that and you can let these kind of marinate in this rub for you know a couple of hours. You could do it overnight and it's gonna give it nice deep flavor. I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. I have prepared a baking pan. This is just a cake pan. I'm gonna toss these all in here and I'm just gonna kind of level them out even in as much of a single layer as possible. You can do this. You don't have to go buy wings at the expensive wing place, I promise you. These are gonna be fantastic. And they're a little healthier for you because they're not deep fried. They're also not covered in cornstarch or flour. So if you have a gluten issue or if you're on keto uh, or low carb diet, these wings are totally gonna make you happy. So these are going right into the oven. And when they're done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what they look like. Our wings roasted for approximately 45 minutes and they are ready to serve. They smell amazing, they look great. I took their internal temperature with a quick read thermometer and they are just perfect. So I'm gonna go and plate these up and I'll be back in just a second. There you have it. Our Nashville hot chicken wings are all ready to go. I've gone ahead and I've plattered them up with some ranch dressing. If you like blue cheese, then you should go for that. I assure you, I've tasted these and Rick's tasted it. These are spicy, but they're not like blow your head off spicy. So if, if you aren't like a fan of super hot things, these are medium hot to me. So medium hot for me may be different for you. If you are not a fan of spice at all, then I suggest you just Put your favorite barbecue rub on the wings and throw them in the oven and roast them in a similar fashion and you're gonna be really happy. These wings are delicious. They do not lack any flavor. They're super tender. They're fall off the bone delicious. And 
you you can go any number of ways with these. You can roast them plain. You can roast them with garlic and onion powder. You can roast them with a barbecue rub or just about any dry spice that you love the best. And you're gonna have a delicious plate of wings to serve for your game day treat. That is how you make Nashville hot chicken wings using my Nashville hot chicken seasoning shake. I hope that you give these a try, whether it's for game day or any time. I hope that if you try these, I hope that you'll love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.